In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a new AutoCAD drawing. I've opened uh, the AutoCAD program up, but I'm not in a drawing session right now. And so to start a drawing session, I'm going to go up here to the upper left-hand corner, and you'll see there's an icon that looks like a sheet of paper with one corner folded down. I can click on that with the left button of my mouse, and that will open up a dialog box that has a bunch of templates, what are called template files. And the one I'm going to uh, look for is the one that says ACAD.DWT. And a DWT is a template file. And you can see that it's selected there. You can pick on that if you want to, if it's not selected. And then pick your left click button of your mouse and pick open. And that will open up uh, a drawing session. Now you can see that there's a grid on the screen. And actually what I'm going to do is turn this grid off and if you look down along the bottom of your uh, monitor you'll see here a bunch of icons and these are some tools and some settings that you can use and this is actually called the status bar the third one from the left is for grid display and if I take my left click button and click on that I can turn the grid off now for most beginners uh, they don't know what all these icons mean so I'm gonna go back to uh, to that third button from the left on my status bar and this time I'm going to right click which is I'm going to click on the uh, right button of my mouse and that's going to open up a little menu and I'm going to uncheck use icons and you will see that all of those icons are going to ch are going to change and become words which make a little more sense to us now I'm going to uh, I'm actually going to drag this down you won't need to do this I, I had that set up like that so that you could see that uh, menu that would come up when I right clicked Alright, so the next thing I want to do is uh, set up something on my uh, toolbar up here. I want to open what's called the menu bar. It's just an extra set of tools that I like to use uh, when, when I'm working with AutoCAD. And so the way I'm going to do that is I can come in here and click inside my command bar. This is my command line right here. <coughs> Excuse me, and I'm going to type menu bar, M-E-N-U-B-A-R, menu bar and press enter and you'll see it says enter new value for menu bar and you'll see that the current value is zero and the current value is what we call the default value I'm gonna set that to one and press enter and when I do that you'll see that a menu will open right across the top right above uh, my ribbon and so there's some extra tools in here that are actually very helpful so that's why I like to open that one up alright so the next thing I'm gonna do is determine what the units for this drawing are going to be and by that I mean I'm not going to draw in feet and inches or am I going to draw in fractions am I going to draw in decimal and we call that the units of the drawing and the easiest way to get to the units of the drawing is to come up here on that toolbar that just opened up and select the word format and that will open up uh, a menu and I'm going to just move my mouse down until I see units I'm going to click on units and that's going to open up a dialog box and the drawing units, what I'm really looking for is the length type to begin with. And you'll see that it's defaulting to decimal units, which are, just as it says, this would be decimal units. And so a lot of times machine drawings, like drawings of machine parts, are done using decimal units. Now let me get, click on the down arrow here with my left button. And you'll see that I also could draw in architectural units, which would be feet and fractional inches. I could uh, draw in engineering units, which are feet and decimal inches and I can draw in fractional units which are just fractions and uh, I even have scientific units which are scientific notation units and uh, but I'm gonna go back and just pick on decimal <coughs> excuse me the next thing you'll see is the precision that I could enter a decimal to and right now I could enter a decimal precision to four decimal places and what that means is if I tried to enter a decimal to five decimal places, it would round at the fourth uh, decimal place. So if I set that to three, for example, now it rounds. If I try to put a, a four-place decimal in, it's going to round at the third one. Uh, I don't think I'm going to change anything else in this. I just want to point out that one of the first things we want to think about in starting a drawing are what the unit should be. So I'm going to come down here and pick on the OK button. The next thing I want to do is go back to format and I'm going to come down here and pick on drawing limits. Now drawing limits represent uh, the area on the drawing 
they're, they're sort of analogous to sheet sizes, and the default drawing limits are 0, 0, which would be the lower left-hand corner here, and then 12 by 9 units on the X and the Y. And so, but whenever you go up to Format and you select Drawing Units, uh, it, you'll see it open up here or around the uh, dynamic entry of your, of your cursor. But what it says here is the limit, specify the lower left corner, and then it says 0 0.000 comma 0, 0.000. What it's saying is that the lower left-hand corner, down here where my X and Y UCS icon is, that's my 0, 0 point. So I'm going to default on that. I hardly ever have a need to change that, so I'm going to default just by pressing Enter. Then I'm asked to specify the upper right corner. Now right now, my limits are 12 on the X by 9, which means if I start right at this corner and I were to count over 12 units and up 9 units, that's where the upper right corner of the limits of my drawing are going to be. If I wanted a B size sheet, which is 17 comma 11 units and press enter, then I can set my units for 17 by 11. Now actually the grid can reflect those units and uh, the reason the grid's not reflecting the units right now is that I have it where my grid is just going out to infinity. If I were to come back over here and right click, uh, and now it's below the menus below the screen, there's a word you'll see called settings. If I pick on settings, one of the options I have here when it opens up is on the snap and grid tab, when I come right over here, there's a checkbox that says display grid beyond limits. If I uncheck that and pick OK, now my limits of 0, 0 and 17 by 11 are displayed. Now I can scroll the wheel of the mouse to get in closer. Another uh, way to zoom in is to type Z, enter, and A, enter. And uh, what I just did, the Z activates the zoom command, and the A that I just typed is an all. So by doing a Z, enter, A, enter, uh, I just perform what's called a zoom all. All right, now my draw tools, things like line and polyline and circle and arc, are located on the draw uh, panel right up here. My modify tools like erase, move, and those sorts of things are located here. I have some layers which I'll get to in uh, later. And so what I want to do though is show you how to open up another toolbar of draw tools. And I'm going to go to the view tab right up here and click on that and that's on my ribbon and then I'm going to come all the way over here to the right where it says toolbars and pick on the down arrow and then I'm going to pick on the word AutoCAD and then I'm going to come over here and pick draw and what's going to happen is it opens up my draw toolbar so the draw toolbar also has the line command and it has construction line it's got polygon rectangle some others and um, I like to have this open, but I don't like it in the middle of my screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here on this bar, this gray bar that's at the end, and then I'm going to press down on the left click button and I'm going to drag that all the way over to the side and keep dragging until it goes vertical. You can see that it's trying to do that right now. Then, then let go of it and what will happen is that it will dock over there on the side. Now if I pick on toolbars again and I go to AutoCAD and I can go down and select modify and that will open my modify toolbar and again I can drag it all the way over here put it right next to the side of this guy and let go and it will dock right up against my draw toolbar and uh, another way to open a toolbar is just to go onto one of these toolbars and right click don't left click just right click on it and then I'm going to go pick object snap which is down in the O's the, these things are in alphabetical order and I'm going to drag Object Snap right over there next to that one. And then I'm going to right click on one of those buttons again and I'll come back and I'm going to open Dimension. These are the toolbars that I like to have on the side of my screen. So I'm going to put it over here. Uh, it didn't work. Let me drag it back over there again. There we go. So I have my Draw Toolbar, my Modify Toolbar, my Object Snap Toolbar, and my Dimension Toolbar. Now we haven't worked with these yet so they may not mean anything to you at, at this point, but they will later. If I go back to the Home tab, though, uh, of the ribbon, again, I have my Draw Tools, I have my Modify Tools. The, the thing is, I can't see all of my Draw Tools here, so if I pick on the down arrow, I can see some others. 
and uh, I guess that's why I like the draw toolbar over here because I can see pretty much all of the tools on the draw toolbar and all of the tools on the modify without having to go to the extra step of, of choosing on the drop down menu uh, to get there. I'm going to press escape to make sure that I'm out of any command that I might have been in. Alright, so now I want to talk about layers. Whenever you uh, open up a drawing, AutoCAD comes in with one layer and that's the layer you can draw on. So I'm going to pick on the line command and I'm just going to pick some points by picking with the left click button of my mouse. I'm going to go back to the endpoint and pick right there and then I'm going to press escape which ends the line command. And the lines that I just drew are located on layer 0. Now if I pick on the down arrow right here next to where it says layer 0, I can see all the layers that AutoCAD currently has and as I said it only has one, layer 0. So let's make some, some new layers uh, just to show you how we do this. You go to the layer tab up here or the layer panel and right up here in the upper left there's a button called the layer properties manager. If we pick on that it's going to open up the layer properties dialog box and uh, once this is opened up you can see there's layer 0, its color is white, its line type is continuous, its line weight which is its thickness is set to default thickness which is fairly thin. Now it is kind of confusing because it says it's white but because I have a white background it's actually drawing that black and we'll change the background in just a second if I can remember to do that. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to start a new layer. So I go to the new layer icon, select that and it essentially makes a copy of layer 0 and puts it right below it. And right there I'm going to I'm going to highlight in the name area and I'm going to type in object So I'm making a new layer for object lines. I could also call this visible for visible lines. Those are the same things. As far as color, I'm going to come over here where it says white. I'm going to pick on that. It's going to open up a matrix of colors. But instead of picking from up here, I'm going to come down here to these uh, this primary colors and pick on red and select OK. So now anything that's drawn on the object layer is going to be red. It's going to be a continuous line, meaning it won't have any dashes in it. Line weight though, I like for object lines and visible lines to be thicker. This is because the ASME standard says they should be thicker. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And uh, ASME says they should be 0.6 millimeters thick. Uh, I find when I print that on a on an 8.5 by 11 sheet, those are just a little bit too thick for what I like. So I'm going to pick on 0.5 instead of 0.6 millimeters and pick OK. Alright, so now my object layer is set up. So I'm going to pick on new layer <clears throat> and what it's going to do, it's going to take the object layer, which is the last one I was working on, and just make a copy of it. So it's defaulting to red, continuous, and 0.5, but I'm going to change this. I'm going to make it a hidden layer. I'm going to type H-I-D-D-E-N for my layer name. I'm going to pick on the color. I'm going to select blue and pick OK. And for the line type, I don't want this to be continuous. I want this to be hidden. But when I open that up, I don't see a hidden line. What I have to do is load a hidden line. So there's a button that says load. Pick on that. The layer, I mean the line types that AutoCAD are, are, are all shown, and they're in alphabetical order. So I'm going to scroll down into the H's, pick on hidden, and select OK. Now I have hidden to choose from. I still need to pick hidden and pick OK. So it assigns hidden to my hidden layer, which is blue now. And for the line weight, again, that's the line thickness. I'm going to pick on that. I'm going to scroll all the way back up and set it to default line thickness. All right, I'm going to make uh, another layer, and I'm going to call it center, C-E-N-T-E-R. And this layer, I'm going to pick on color. I'm going to make it green and select OK. For the line type, I need a center line, which is not here, so I'm going to pick load. I'm going to scroll down into the C's. I went past it, looks like. Find Center, pick OK, and then I'm going to select Center and pick OK, and that assigns Center to it. And because hidden, my hidden layer was set to default, this is also set to default. At that point, now I have four different layers. I'm going to close my Layer Properties Manager. Now, I want to show you when I go back to my Layers Control here and pick on the down arrow, that I have all those layers and to set the, the layer current that I want to be current I'm just going to pick on object. Now with object current if I draw a line, I'll go over and pick the line command, those lines are going to be red and then I'm going to press escape 
Now I'm going to go turn the grid off again so you can kind of see what I have here. And so you can see that I have red lines and those red lines are on the object layer. The black lines were drawn on layer 0. And the other thing I'm going to do is come down to my status bar and there's a button that says LWT and this will show the line weight of the line. So by picking on LWT you can see that the object lines are showing up thicker because they are set to 0.5 millimeter line thickness while the layer zero's lines are set to default line thickness. So I'm going to change uh, to the hidden layer. I'm going to draw some lines on the hidden layer and you will see these will be blue hidden lines. Press escape. Uh, I'm going to go to the center layer, pick on the line command, I'm going to pick a point, just pick a few points around the screen, press escape, and so you can see I have center lines, hidden lines, object lines or visible lines, and then I have these black lines that are on uh, layer zero. Okay, so a second ago I said I was also going to change the background color from white to black, and uh, this is easy to do, I'm just going to, I want to do, press escape, make sure I'm not in a command, then I'm going to right click my mouse, and it's going to open up a menu. I'm going to go pick on options. And that's going to open up a dialog box and there are a bunch of tabs across the top and I'm going to pick on the one that says display. Then I'm going to come down here to this button that says colors and pick on colors. And then I'm going to come right over here to the upper right, pick on this down arrow next to where it says white and I'm going to choose black. I'm going to pick apply and close. I'm going to pick apply and pick OK and now I have a black background. I have blue hidden lines, red visible lines, green center lines, and I still have uh, the lines I drew on layer zero, but now they're showing up as white against that black background. And uh, this is essentially the steps to setting up a drawing.